All right, good morning. Welcome back to Casa Tex Pino. We're on build day number 233 today. It's Tuesday, and our general labor crew is all on site. Um, so I'm going to walk you around, show you what all is going on, and let's get started. Let's go ahead and cruise on in. Coming in the front door. We've already got the front door propped open this morning. Trying to get some airflow going through the house a little bit. And starting off in the master closet. Let me get back to that area. Mr. JR is doing a little bit of cleaning back here and getting ready to start uh, painting uh, so we still have a little bit of touch-up paint and stuff in here to do um, but the majority of the color of the paint is where it's at all right so let's go work our way out pardon me <clears throat> coming on out into the rest of the room into the rest of the house mr. gel is sanding and painting our uh, columns for the living room archway He's already got all of the uh, gray painted areas um, masked off with uh, newspaper and tape um, that he is planning to not paint white. So uh, the rest of these he's sanding right now will be painted a, a white color. And we'll see that as it progresses throughout the day. Um, our carpenter, Mr. Ferdy, is back today and he is starting at the top of the stairs <clears throat> and working his way down on the other side today with the baseboards. So he's starting way up at the top. He's going to work his way down. Okay. Let's go ahead and head out in the kitchen area because that's where, oh, sorry, in the uh, garage area because that's where most everybody else is at today. So out here in the back, we've got a little bit of electrical going on over in the corner. Just Mr. Cho here today. Only one electrician. <clears throat> when you only have one electrician, it's a good that it's the head electrician, so that's a bonus. And our varnishers, Mr. Andy and Mr. Uh, Henry, I'm oh, sorry, Mr. Hen Andy and Mr. Henry over here are uh, still working on the doors. So we're getting these all varnished up, we're getting them a clear coat, really getting prepped. And <clears throat> Mr. Marlin and Mr. Wilson are working on our last bit of tiling here in the here in the garage area uh, this is right in front of our main panels so this was the last area left to be uh, tiled okay and mr. Alex and mr. Allen are working on our uh, cabinet drawers for the island in the kitchen and a couple of other places I know we have drawers aplenty so um, one last person is Mr. Stanley and he's way over here on the back side of the fence. <clears throat> so he's prepping to get our perimeter fence uh, painted all of this back row here. Um, majority of the time uh, what I've seen in our subdivision as well as many others is they end up leaving it unfinished. Um, so it, it does not present a finished look on the house. So we have decided that we would like to have it finished. At least our part of the fence, we did our job as far as finishing the, the work. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, ask for this to be painted. Uh, it's just going to be a, uh, a simple little bit of a uh, little bit of base paint and then also back to the the same color that we had on the main wall here um, nothing fancy we're not skim coating it uh, we're just putting the base paint on so that the uh, paint will stick <clears throat> so part of uh, construction operations is you normally create a lot of debris so this is on schedule to be picked up at a later point and the Engineer's brother-in-law, Mr. Al, is over here and they are picking up materials uh, that will be reused at another location. 
So also part of the cleanup effort. Uh, so we're cleaning up things from this site uh, that can be reutilized, re reused, repurposed at another job site. So cut down on operations costs and a little bit good for the environment so they can reuse some of this stuff. Also helps to uh, clean our site up a little bit. Good move, good move. And quickly, the foreman and Mr. Wilson quickly put down the uh, last bit of floor tile here in the garage area. Uh, so the next place that's gonna get garage tile, floor tile is already being worked on right over here. So they're getting it all laid out now to make sure everything's in the right spot. And then we're going floor tile in the utility room. <laughs> well, our uh, utility room, the floor tile is almost done. So they're out on a break at the moment, but it's a good time to walk around and not bother anybody when they're working. <clears throat> so we're gonna have a cabinet here, tall cabinet, and then uh, upper cabinets here, like uh, kitchen style upper cabinets. All right, we've still got dry pack out here that they're using for the tiles in that utility room I just showed you. Um, looks like the doors are still being worked, as are the cabinets. So we're still doing the uh, pull-out drawers for the cabinetry as well. Let's go walk around inside and see where everybody else is at. Um, also back on site today, um, our fine friends from um, Tech Vision CCTV company are in and they are doing their jobs, putting those nice cameras everywhere that they should be. The uh, cabinet doors have been painted and are being put back in place uh, for our uh, master bath, his and her vanity, and also for the large linen cabinet. We're going to reattach the uh, hinges and then put it back on the back on the wall right here. All right, Mr. Bernie's uh, pre-cutting all the pieces that he needs for the staircase uh, baseboards. Um, we are holding off on uh, affixing them in place on this side uh, because we're having the, we're asking the uh, electrician to do a side project for us, an additional that we're providing all the parts uh, for understep LEDs all the way down. So just a, an additional nicety. So we got a couple of parts we got to go by, and then once those are in place, Mr. Ferdy will be able to continue with his job. So we need to hurry up and get those for them. All right, the electrician, mode electrician all by himself. Mr. Cho has been busy starting to put in some of the under cabinet lighting. Um, we have one tested out here in the dirty kitchen, as well as there is one out here in the main kitchen that is also was a, uh, a test but they're uh, reworking this one so well uh, they got it undone right now because it's getting ready to get painted in this area all right our varnishes are still working on the doors looks like it's down to just mr uh, just mr andy here but uh yeah we're working on this doors getting them uh, clear coated ready to go for the next step and Mr. Cho is continuing to work our uh, lines here at the main panels. Getting everything uh, dressed up nice, nice and neat for the uh, putting the panel covers on at some point. We're not there yet, but we're getting ready. And in the uh, maid's room, Mr. Stanley is cautiously working the uh, sanding of the um, paint and skim coat, uh, making sure that it's ready to go for the first coat of base coat, base paint and getting ready to put on some actual color in this room. So we'll see that coming soon. And here in the uh, kitchen area, 
Mr. Joe is doing our painting for our cabinet areas. Same as he did in the uh, master's closet. Uh, so we're spraying the uh, backs of the uh, cabinets. All right, so we're walking into the Christmas store here. For all the parts and pieces for our CCTV wired and wireless internet all that fun stuff so this is going to be our server room also known as the office so they're getting us all hooked up in here good guys from uh Tech vision okay they're nice hard, hard at work act like i'm not even here <laughs> okay so the uh Painter Mr. Gel has been working on our uh, archways and columns today. So the engineer wanted to see a test sample of what the color looks like. So this is the antique white that we're going with uh, for the for the column. Um, it may be hard for you guys to tell or see on screen, but it's uh, it's not the bright white that we were dealing with on this column for just the base coat. Um, it does have a nice uh, subdued look and it transitions nicely I think from the gold wall to an antique uh, white coming in to the rest of the house uh, they're doing the same color that antique white is going to be our cabinetry color here going through so we don't just get a overload of this bright white um, we didn't do want to do a washout uh, with all the white so we're trying to add more color in a little bit at a time even as subtle as it may be uh, throughout the kitchen area and the living room. All right, we got our uh, cabinet doors in here in the master bath. So we haven't got the uh, knobs on them just yet. But got the nice soft closed doors for the cabinets. And then we've got drawers down here. Again, same, no, no uh, these are still a little tight yet, but Yes, good deep drawers. So Miss Emmy's got plenty of places to hide cosmetics. But that's okay. I get a big drawer too. I don't know what I'm putting in it, but I got a big drawer too. It has a notch in it here to be able to allow maintenance space for the piping because this shelf is still removable. So if I have to do a little bit of maintenance, all I gotta do is take the, sh take the drawer out, take the shelf out, and I've got a full room of maintenance. So, something I wanna suggest to you guys, if y'all are doing the uh, in-home Wi-Fi here in the Philippines, especially with the solid concrete walls, make sure to put uh, signal repeaters in each major area like we have one here that's going to be coming in here for an access point here inside of the master uh, bedroom and the strength of this will help us reach outside also uh, to where our kubo is going to be relocated so we're relocating the uh, kubo from over there to here and we'll be able to enjoy this area as a whole so um, here's what we're looking at um, yeah, I don't think that's what we ended up with it for MSRP, but if you were buying them in the States and bring them here, I'm sure they would work the same, except you need to look, look and make sure that it's auto volt or to where it can automatically go from 100 to uh, 240 and not have a problem with the voltage. All right, guys, it's Yabba Dabba Do time. Um, all the guys gone home with the exception of our CCTV crew, which are working for a little bit longer. Um, yeah. So lots of things going on today. Me and uh, Miss Emmy were off site for a little bit during lunch and uh, came back and a uh, nice surprise with things being uh, moving along and the uh, utility room uh, got a floor today. So that's, that's a, a big plus. Um, little steps make huge strides, big strides. So um, yeah, if y'all liked today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the Costa Tex Pina star right over here and you'll be subscribed hit the bell icon just below the view screen you'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure so until we see you again tomorrow have a great afternoon and god bless i always feel like 
Somebody's watching me. I got no privacy. 